All right, guys, I'm running some errands right now before I actually start to uh, prep the car for paint. Wow, what a voice crack. I'm sick right now. Um, I want to get back. I think I'm going to start masking it off, uh, setting the car down. I also took the trim off the side uh, one day to see what it would look like underneath. There's a whole bunch of adhesive, so I'm going to need to take the trim off the other side and um, take the adhesive off with some goo gone. Uh, I'm also going to finish up patching up a little bit of... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm also gonna do a little. <clears throat> I'm also gonna do a little bit more bundle work. Uh, that shouldn't take too long. I'm also debating on filling the body line uh, along the door and the fender um, with bondo just to give the side a smooth look. And if I have enough bondo, I think I'm going to. If I have enough bondo for one side, I will. Um, but if I don't have it for the other side, because I'm gonna have to buy another another bucket of it. Alright guys, so I started working on taking all the adhesive off. As you guys can see, it was all that all here, there, and there. That was maybe about an hour of work. So I'm going to say about two hours of work to get the rest of this off. Plus, I need to do the other side. So I've decided to take a break from that and start masking things off. I had a time lapse of this, but I thought I had hit record. Turns out I didn't. And there's no footage. So we're just going to have to go with this for now. So I'm going to keep masking, going to keep taking that off. It's probably going to take me about two days to prep the car. And then either, well, the rest of the day to prep the car, and either tomorrow or Friday, I'm going to start painting it. Um, I'm not going to do a layer of, like, gray primer because previously, when I first got the car, the um, owner, the day of, like, when I got there to go pick it up, he was sanding it down. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, I just want to see which sandpaper would work best. And I'm like... It's my fucking car. <laughs> so I threw just a really basic layer of um, black spray or a black primer on it. As you guys can tell, how it's like not super shiny there. That's just a black primer I threw on. So I'm just gonna scuff all that up and throw on a and throw on a couple layers of black, a couple layers of clear coat, and then we'll be done. Um, I was gonna do. Uh, gold flake, but I think for now I'm gonna add the gold flake in later. Since you had the gold flake in the uh, um, clear coat, I'll just do a couple layers of clear right now, and then in the future, if I want to add it on, I'll just sand down the uh, one layer of clear coat and throw on some gold flake with the clear coat. All right, I'm gonna get back to the masking off, and then we'll get to painting. All right, so got one side of the, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure they call the sail. Um, smooth over, all the scratches you guys can kind of see here, those are completely smoothed over. Um, I need to start working on the middle part more, couldn't really reach it too well while I was recording. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Um, down here, see the problem is I just bought this today and I only have like four inch, uh, sanding pads so maybe at least five inches or six inches so I couldn't reach on here that they're right here it's still rough I'm gonna need to uh, I need to do that with my hand or go and buy some more sanding discs which I'm gonna have to but if we come over to this side as you guys can see all this orange peel here is from the first time I threw on um, the black primer just for just to make it all one color it's over time just what happens when you don't put clear coat on and you don't paint uh the right way like i am or like i did and probably will because i i don't know how to do automotive body work um i sure as hell don't know how to paint i've literally just been learning everything off of youtube so hopefully it's gonna turn out at least decent so i'm gonna show you guys what this orange peel looks like now 
and I'll show you guys again once I'm done. I won't record this side just because you guys already saw that half. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. So I got all the uh, orange peel out. I got a little bit left here to do, um, especially down here, but that's all gonna be hand sanded. Um, I've sanded over the entire car. Oh, not that door, because I still need to uh, take that trim out. But I've sanded over basically the entire car. After I do that door and that trim piece there, I'm gonna go all, can go over it all once more hand sanding it. And then I'm gonna go wash it, get all the dust off, bring it back here. Um, I'm. I don't really care much about the bumpers. I'm gonna get new bumpers anyway in the future, so these are just gonna be sanded, hand sanded, and whatever nicks and whatever imperfections are on them, then that's just gonna stay there. For the hatch, I'm gonna take this, uh, I'm gonna take the spoiler off so I can get underneath. Uh, once again, the bumper is just gonna be hand sanded. It has, there's a few cracks in the paint, but um, just quick light sanding will be fine. The burger panel, um, I'm gonna leave that in just to paint it. I do wanna take the uh, letter inserts out so I can do a little something cool with that and then this whole side needs to um, be sanded once more hand sanded at least and after that we're just gonna mask everything off and we should be ready to go Alright guys, so funny story, I had a time lapse again of me cleaning up the area where I'm going to 
the area where I'm actually going to go paint the car. But I got halfway through and I was like, I'm going to check on the uh, camera. Go over there. My phone is dead. Uh, completely dead and didn't record anything. So this is what I have so far. And I'm going to finish cleaning this all up. Um, I actually have a portable charger on it right now. So I'm going to throw my phone back on the tripod and continue time lapse. So I have the Camaro all masked off. I just gotta do the wheels. So before I do that, I'm gonna go around and degrease everything with a bottle of uh, rubbing alcohol. Then we're just gonna mix up the paint and paint it on for the first coat. Uh, we're gonna do two coats today since I'm using tractor paint. Um, it's gonna take 24 hours for it to harden and then we're gonna do the next two coats tomorrow. Then after all four coats have hardened, I'm gonna go over it with about two or three layers of clear coat so I can sand that down and make sure there's enough uh, clear coat on there for a wet sand. And then we'll figure it out from there. All right, so I added the hardener and the thinner. Uh, all I really gotta do is just stir it all around, make sure there's no major clumps left over. And then just straight it and put it into the gun and we'll uh, continue to spray. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have a video of me actually painting the car just because I don't have a tripod anymore because I broke mine <laughs> halfway through making this whole video. But I will show the end result, whether it's good or bad, because this is going to be my first time actually painting a car like this, rather than just like spray paint or just painting without uh, actually prepping. So, honestly, it's probably not bad, but I had some faith, you know? So I'll catch you guys after I've actually painted the car. So it's really loud. I have my air compressor going right now, and I'm just gonna tank the wall a little bit just to make sure it's coming out like I want it to. I might have to put soft panels in. All right, guys, don't mind the uh, the actual air hose leaking, but first coat is on. 
uh, did a very, very light coat um, for the first one. As you guys can see, you can still see through it. Uh, but it's already looking so much better just because it's all going to be one shade of black versus like three. But I'm going to let this dry for about an hour or so. and Or at least dry as much as it can. And then I'm coming back and hit it with the second coat. going to keep it the same amount of thick thickness throughout the first through third coat. Then I think on the fourth coat might be my last. I'm going to lay it on a little bit thicker. And leave it to dry for about two days. Hopefully it doesn't rain that time. Because I do have holes in my uh, carport where the tarp is. But I'm going to be throwing another tarp across the top. And I have another carport. Or at least it's a frame of it over there. That I'm going to bring over just to cover the back end. Because the back end is just a little bit out from underneath. And I really don't want that to get wet if it does rain. But I'll be back with uh, after the next two coats are done. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for part one. I'm going to make this a two-part series just because um, using tractor paint, I do have to wait a long time for it to actually cure and dry. But as you guys can see, it's not the best job. Um, this is actually my first paint job with like an actual gun and everything. There's a lot of um, little bugs and a little piece of dirt in the base coat that I need to wet sand out. But I have to wait at least 24 hours for it to uh, fully cure so I can start sanding it. So after I'm done sanding and putting the clear coat in, uh, it's going to be a little bit because I still want to figure out how much um, gold flake I want to put into the uh, layer of clear. But once I figure that out, this car will be done with the paint and she's going to be looking real good. So I'll catch you guys in part two and stay tuned. Just me, just you.